America is the lamp on a hill. As Reagan said, we're just four years away from, at any point, losing all liberty one generation away. That's the fight that we're in for for our lives. This is our time for our generation to fight fascism. This is our time to fight Marxism within our country. This is our time to step up and really encourage others to step forward as well and to be educated to what's happening inside of our culture, inside of our country, and those that are wanting to breach and break the sovereignty of America. And that is a real thing. And for veterans to be first, for America to be first, then that means that America is doing well, our allies are doing well, and that those who are freedom-loving are doing well. And that is direct opposition to what the CCP wants. They have been very clear that by 2030, their gold Silk Road and their plans. They've been very clear that they want to invade Taiwan as well and to, for the PLA to be ready by 27. People are not paying attention to what's really happening. They have to get their heads out of the sand and realize that the Chinese people need help and that the CCP is a problem. It's not Chinese people. It's not the community. We love the Chinese people. We love the culture. And we have so many that are veterans that are Chinese, okay? Our own diversity coalition in 2016 and 2020 was head up by Chinese Americans. And so I've served with so many. And I know the culture. I know the honor. I know the integrity that is there in the culture. And the CCP is the one that's going after our American veterans and are doing everything they can to buy up land and to eradicate and push out the veteran and first responder community. And that needs to end. And those those who are treasonous and seditious need to be removed, that believe inherently in just allowing the money to control them rather than the mission of making America first. And we're seeing this happen right now in the inner cities. We're seeing how the weaponization of the DOJ and the district attorneys funded by George Soros and those in partnership with this unholy alliance. It really is a whole axis of evil that has infiltrated and a serpent that has come inside of America and is just t gutting the DOD right now gutting the VA of taking care of its veterans. And we're seeing this and we're seeing the ramifications of it. And that's why we are organizing underneath Veterans for America First. That's why others are supporting me with freejosh.us and focused on eradicating this existential threat. We need to back away as much as possible. We need to have veteran made, US made products. We need to ensure that we're helping our allies and supporting those that are taking care of human lives because the CCP doesn't care about human lives whatsoever could care less and need to do their cronies that are being funded inside of our governments because they could care less about the sanctity of life and we're about the sanctity of life we have defended lives we run to the firefight to ensure that our brothers and sisters are protected and that those who are being hurt or somewhere molested or just torn apart by tyranny we run in there to ensure that we're saving those lives we care about the sanctity of life the CCP does not and so that's a major differential for us and we want to see that in in America. They have no sanctity of life whatsoever. As I said, those who are treasonous and those who are seditious that are just taking the CCP money and could care less about America and are selling America down with this fake bill of goods and selling out our children, our grandchildren to the fourth generation. And that's what we're seeing happen right now in front of